blocked the best. You the best one? Yeah, blocked the best. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like a legit athlete. All right, everybody, this is my one with Block Boy JB in the house here at Dash Radio. How, how you doing, man? I'm good. Man, you have, bro, you have had such a crazy run in hip hop. One of the most unique runs because there's artists that go TikTok viral, and then there's artists that, that come up the other way with a lot of albums, a lot of mixtapes, a lot of good features. You've done both. Like, you, you've yeah. kind of encompassed it all. Um, but let's start with, man, I mean, there's so much we can go over. But 2017, right, Shoot Goes Crazy. Yeah. Shoot Goes Crazy, all of a sudden Drake's in your DMs. And from there, what, what I think the coolest thing that happened from that moment was that you and Tay both blew up together. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys kind of came up, like, you don't see that. You, I mean, you see it a lot out the gates, but you don't see the, the, the artist and the producer really be able to stay locked in for this many years. First thing I wanted to ask you, how are you and Tay, Tay Keith, for anyone who doesn't know, but how have you guys been able to keep it so solid for this long? Because it always been genuine with us, for sure. Like, me and him grew up, me and him didn't grow up together, but we was in high school together. Like, not high school, but, because we went to different high schools, but his, his house was right there. So we, we grew up basically together. So it was genuine, it was never about music. So. Even if I didn't know music or do music or rap or anything, I would still have been. You guys would have been cool? Yeah, for sure. Wow, because here's the thing that gets me is you guys were cool before you had anything, when you were mm -hmm. you know, back at home and you were trying to get, get it. Now you guys both have it. Mm -hmm. He had a, motherfucker had a McDonald's meal. When I saw the, the Tay Keith and McDonald's meal, I said, yeah. fuck it, Memphis did it, man, <laughs> for all the Tennessee. For sure. But it, it I'm shocked that you guys have been able to keep it so solid even now that you have the fame, the money, the hits. You guys haven't had no like issues, nothing? No, nah, not too many. Because he did the whole back to the block, right? Yeah. Like top to bottom. Yeah, for sure. That's crazy, man. Y'all still are locked in. Because, you know, we've seen it a lot. You remember like ASAP Rocky and Space Ghost Perp? They, they used to make really dope music that style. Uh, even Dre and Snoop for like five, ten years didn't really work together. But you guys are like that modern day kind of Penny and Shaq, as far as like producer. Appreciate no, of course, man. Uh, projects out. You got Pooh Shiesty on there. Mm -hmm. Who else? Who else do we have on there? ESTG, uh, Code Cash, and Spot Em Got Em. Okay, okay, and Tay's on there too, right? I think. Yeah. Did he actually like Tay Keith? I feel like is on a song. I saw his name or nah. something. Nah. I wanted them too, but he, he 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 like nah, that ain't my way. Nah, he wouldn't do it. Yeah, you get. I think if anybody's gonna get Tay Keith to drop vocals on the song, it'd be you. Yeah, for sure. Well, I can get him to do it, but he he, he be late and he don't want to do it. Yeah, next time around. Mm -hmm. Well, I got a part of my interviews, JB, where I I give every artist an album, and I, I'm gonna let you choose between two albums. Um, I couldn't believe when, when I did my research, what, we'll get into your favorite song. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, that's actually funny, because that song is, anytime I hear it, I jam to it. I just wanted to nod mm -hmm. to it. I'm going to let you pick between a Eminem album, the Marshall Mathers LP. Okay. You rock with him, right? Yeah, I remember, sure. I think I read he's one of your favorite yeah. rappers. This might catch you off guard. What do you fuck with that Nelly, sweet? That's crazy. <laughs> you know why I have this up here, right? That over and over with Tim McGraw. Man, that's a jam, right? Bro, you told Double XL that's your favorite song ever. Yeah, for sure. And that really caught me off guard. It makes sense because you're from Tennessee, so you have the country in you yeah. everywhere where you grew up. Nelly, hip hop, you know, we're from that time. But over and over is really like your jam. You know, my jam back in the day. Yeah, that's yeah. so dope. Which one would you want to choose? You can keep. Yeah, man. The M&M's at Marshall Mathers. I was going to say, if you would have picked Nelly, I thought it was comedy. I had the extra one, Sweet. You yeah. remember when he did this? Yeah, for sure, I remember that. Yeah, I don't know if anyone remembers that when he did the Sweat and Sweet. I miss those days. I know. You can have these if you want to, man. If you're going to sure. listen to him, man, I, want, I had to give those to you because I thought that was the most contradicting 
favorite song I've heard of from an artist. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like over and over, Tim McGraw and Nelly. You li- did you l- listen to a lot of country by chance? Uh, not too much, but I listened to a couple songs. Okay. So there's like, what are some? Do you have any that like you still love or rock with? Um, I haven't heard this. I forgot the song. It's uh, what's that? What I forgot? I forgot the name of it. But it's uh, it just it, it's a recent song, really. It's um, I say it's something about. I, I can't think what like recent country joints. Yeah, no, nah, it, it's it was. Like probably like last year. Like it's uh. Well, there's a new joint with Dirk. Dirk did a, a like country yeah. kind of joint. Yeah, that one was cool too. But I'm talking about it was it's it's another song. I I hate when I be trying to be on uh, my song. Big country song from this past year. Yeah, like like man, recently. Twenty one. Uh big country it was on the radio. right there. I, man, I'm blanking. I'm just thinking like Lil Nas X or like some wow. Katy Perry shit. Wow. <laughs> but you do rock with like that genre a little bit. Yeah, I, I like I like country. Is that from your Tennessee roots? Would you say? Mm, I, don't, I don't know. It just be some. If you actually just listen to what they saying, it be making sense. Oh, 100 percent. Yeah. So a lot of what they there's some country joints that are like hip-hop joints so they be bragging i heard one dude he's like i want a pickup truck with a and it kind of sounded like he had like Mm -hmm. a hip-hop kind of vibe to it um what about i was gonna ask you so that moment when when drake dm'd you did you think maybe it was like he got hacked or something that must have been a crazy not to be honest i ain't i ain't know that was that was drake because i i I wasn't even on instagram like that oh probably like like fifteen thousand. You thought it was like a champagne company or something that said nah, champagne. Yeah, I was like, champagne pasta. And I said the boutique. I'm like, hold on, who the fool is that? I'm like, oh, hold on, this is Drake for real. Yeah, that must have been fucking dope. Yeah, for sure. And y'all did. you to, to, to get with Drake, and I know everyone at the time thought he was going to remix Rover. Everyone was like, oh, he's do, he doing the remix, he's doing the remix. And y'all came with some brand new, fresh shit. And you not only did you not, like, you didn't miss, but you fucking dominated the charts, dominated TikTok again. So I wanted to ask you, did you uh, did you do all the uh, viral TikTok moments by design or they just happened naturally? So when you made the shoot dance, you had no plans like, yo, I'm gonna try to go go to TikTok. I want this to become a viral dance. Mm-hmm. Dude came out like before TikTok. So. I know, yeah. it was one of the first fucking things that blew up on TikTok. Mm-hmm. Did, now, what what was going through your head to create that dance? Because you changed the world with that. It just by having was in a little mood, and then my homie put it in the video, and it's like, I'm like yeah, I gotta put, I gotta keep doing this. Yeah, they just told you to keep doing it because you did. So you did it naturally on the spot. You just thought of it, and then they saw it. Man, you changed the world. What happened with Fortnite? Did they pay? You still on their ass? Oh, you dropped it? Because mm-hmm. I remember I read that, like, you, I, what you were saying, what Chance was saying, what everyone was saying made sense. Like, they're selling your dance in the game. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's not like they were using it and it wasn't making money. People were paying just to have that. So you dropped everything. No more beef with Fortnite? Okay, I was ready to be like, fuck Fortnite, but never mind. Never mind. <laughs> um, so, Block Boy, album's out. Uh, you've done, you've done, you've given the game a lot of projects. Like you've already in your four or five year run have given us like 10, 20 years of work. Do you plan on rapping forever or do you got other plans? I, I always, I'm always gonna rap forever. For sure, for sure. I like rapping, so it's just a hobby. It's gonna always be a hobby of mine to keep rapping. Okay. No, I do I always to have something in the pit. Always, okay, because I could see you doing a lot. Like, I could really see Block Boy, like, just doing a lot yeah, as far as, like, outside of rap. Like, mm-hmm. you got a good personality, bro. You I do. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to turn it to Denzel. Denzel? Yeah, I'm trying to turn it to Denzel. Okay. Sure. You can, man. I could see it. I could see you being in some m- m- movies. You definitely got the personality. Um, is there anybody you're trying to collab with this upcoming year? Anyone you're trying to lock in, trying to get in this? 
studio with? Uh, Eminem. Eminem. Yo, M, that has to happen, actually. Yeah, sure. That would be a dope collaboration. That's an, another thing, like, even when I read that Over and Over is your favorite song, even just to see that Eminem and T.I. were, like, the two rappers you really said you mm-hmm. fucked with, it's different, you know? Everyone's always saying Drake or Jay-Z or Lil Wayne. I always ask everyone, and everyone's inspired by Wayne. Your answer to me was real unique, yeah. Eminem. Um, okay, last thing I'm going to bring up. We need to warn people. JB block boy that Miami is sketchy as a motherfucker. So yeah. I heard your story on No Jumper. I had this almost same thing happen to me. Yeah. Girls put something in my drink. This is, this is my this is like I haven't shared this with a lot of people but this Rolly got robbed. I had to rebuy it. They slipped some shit in my drink. I woke up and I was like in front of my hotel and I don't remember nothing. And so do, what what warning do you want to give people about going out in Miami? They got to watch your surroundings and just know you can't think with your dick. You got to think with your mind. Mm. So. And stay out of South Beach if you're out there, man. You got to stay out. I, they got me on Collins, like the real tourist area where, like, everybody be going. I know they almost got you at Live, right? Yeah. That's what they be doing there, man, because the hotel and club are right there. Yep, and then you gotta all make sure you keep somebody with you at all times. It's gonna be with the, whatever move you with. Absolutely, especially out there. That was just, I wanted to get that out so people knew before they go to Miami and get their shit fucked up. And then, am I fair to assume that you took the K out of your name because of your affiliation? Is that true? Yeah, for sure. Okay, I was just checking because I know DJ Quick back in the day. I know, you know, in the gang community, CK shouldn't ever be. Whether you're a blood or a crip, you never put those letters together. So that was the same thing for you? Good to know. I was just curious. You know, I just wanted to know because I always looked into why DJ Quick. I don't know if you knew that, but DJ Quick, I think, is on the other side. He, he wears red, but he, he took away the C from his name because he didn't want to upset crips and he didn't want to do shows and have to deal with people like, you know? Which is crazy, too, because when I looked into it, the fact that you're, you're tied in with the LA division is dope. You know, it's cool. At least you're good out here. We know you're good out here. So, project out now. What's the next single we can expect? Uh, ESTG. The one with ESTG? Smoke. Okay. Yeah. Dope, dope. Blockboy JB, man, keep changing the world. The coolest thing about you is you never change, dog. You just keep changing the fucking world. Like, yeah. you never sold out. Fucking shoot motherfucking songs about shooting. But it went viral. <laughs> it, did, it did the numbers and everything. So, thank you so much, man. Good to have you here at Dash. This is my one. For the record, he picked the Eminem album, but I would give you, you know, that Nelly Sweet Soup. Maybe you do it. The next rapper to have two albums that they go together. Mm-hmm. If you remember, one was for the clubs, one was for the, you know, they need to the start honeys. back selling the CDs. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. All right, everybody. Dash Radio, my one, Block Boy JB. Back to the block out now. Go check that shit out. And shout out Tay motherfucking Keith, man. Shout out my boy. One of the greatest. Yep, yep. All right, man. Oh, can I ask you, why why did Drake try to sign you? Forgot to ask about that. Nah. Did you ever think you were going to get signed by Drake? Because I I remember thinking you were going to get signed by Drake. Nah. It was was just like, genuinely, he was just wanting to see me win. Shout out to Drake. We're going to end this on that. Shout out to fucking Drizzy. All right, everybody. My one, Blockboy JB here at Dash Radio, and we're out.